as they say, small is beautiful. Let me show you probably one of the smallest RC and FPV flying wings you can actually build. I'm not really saying it's the smallest, but it is a pretty, pretty small build. And if you really want to, you can even have a flight controller on board. I don't, but you can, and I think it's beautiful. That's the Spirit, one of the smallest FPV flying wings in the world. As you can see, this thing is so small that it fits on my workbench absolutely no problem. The wingspan on this thing is roughly 47 centimeters, which for the Imperial guys translates to around 18 and a half inches. Fuselage, two wings, two control surfaces, two servos, two push rods, one motor in the back and of course FPV setup in the front. Bear in mind those are not even 9 gram servos, those are 2 gram servos and the motor is equally tiny, it's only 1104 6000 kV powered from 2S. And of course it's a brushless motors because we do not like brushed motors at all. All the electronics easily fit below the canopy which is attached using two magnets in the front. And over here we get the FPV setup, in my case this is a standard whoop style all-in-one FPV camera and the analog video transmitter. You can buy those things from China very cheap, they are very small, very light. Unfortunately the video quality on those, well, it's not really the best. But at least you see where you are and when you are flying. The real issue with the style of the camera is that usually they are powered only from 1S. And because I'm using 2S, because of the brushless ESC and the brushless motors, I I had to use a small step down over here to be able to power the camera from 5 volts. Here at the end is the smallest brushless ESC I was able to find because with this teeny tiny motor it doesn't really matter how big of the ESC you have and as a complete bonus there is 2.4 GHz Express LRS receiver. This is the ER61 from RadioMaster but any with the PWM outputs will work work just fine. This is a three channel only. One channel is for the throttle and two channels are for the servos and the mixing happens only in the radio. There is no flight controller in here at all. Pure manual flight. No fancy electronics, no fancy mechanics, one of the simplest flying models you can get, which even has the FPV. And you know what? This thing even flies and it's fun to play with. Of course, as long as the weather is nice and there is almost no wind. This thing is so small and so light that basically any gust of wind will turn it into the, well, at least extremely shaky experience. But in the calm weather, why not? And you can fly it almost anywhere. So small, so light, nobody will even care. And if they care, this thing is well, 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 well below the 250 grams limit. The one I built without the flight controller, but with the FPV system and the battery, weights only 66 grams. Looking for the interesting project for the winter or the next spring, this might be something for you. What do you think about such a light FPV flying wings? Write your thoughts into the comments. Let's have a discussion if what's better, micro flying wings or just the bigger models that, well, you kinda require some space. With those one, uh -uh, no extra space required at all.
here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, this was the FPV University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying!